Okay, here we are at um, chapter 20, part B. How do we draw a square with a dotted line? So let's look at our code. Now, as you will see, I actually made my line a bit too long. So I could do less repetitions, but what I'm in fact going to do is I'm going to make each step shorter. So there you go. So now my little loop, there you go. There's a beautiful dotted line, but I need four of them. Now, I could just keep copying and pasting code, but I want to be more elegant than that. So here's what I'm going to do. So, there is my loop. At the end of my loop, I'm going to turn right. So, turtle, turn, and in actual fact, I can turn degrees. So, I'm going to turn 90 degrees, even though I could turn right. I just wanted to show you that you can actually turn degrees. So, that's the bit that's going to move the dotted line and then turn. So, in actual fact, I'm going to put a loop around my loop. So, 4k, and I'm just picking a random number there, equals 1 to 4. And then I'm going to go to the end, and I'm going to say end 4. So, in fact, I've now got a loop within a loop. So, the k loop is going to run four times, and inside it, the i loop is going to run five times, and that's what draws the line. So, the k loop draws each side, and the other loop draws the sides, and it's lifting the pen up, putting it down. Let's see if it works. Oh, I better grab that window. There we go. Oh, good. It's doing exactly what I wanted. So there we go. All very neatly done in, oh, let's see how many lines of code. In nine lines of code. I'd be very interested to see if you could get it done in less than that. I wouldn't be surprised. If you go for the copying and pasting option, you're going to have a lot more code than that. You could, of course, do this without loops. But I actually think you'd probably be running up to about 30 lines of code rather than the nine we've got here. So I hope your result was similar to that. And we'll be back in the next episode to look at making more sophisticated patterns with the turtle.